Hello everyone, it's a boy record the best and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing on this gaming laptop and it is the Acer Predator Helios 300. I don't think you guys would be able to see that on the camera but the part number is the PH315-53-7100. This is the 2021 model so we're going to unbox it and see what is on the inside so the seal is already break so we have two boxes inside the box so the first one here I believe would be charger so we have one cable here we have the charging brick here. And the brick is on the heavy side for a gaming laptop. But you can actually work with it for the power that this computer delivers. So on this adapter here, it is a 230 watt and it's 19.5 volts and the amperage is 11.8 amps we have a little envelope package that says predator so i'm going to open it so first thing here we have is a predator premium service so this is your warranty it says you have one year warranty and it's 24 7 you can access it from their support team you could call a number or you could actually chat with them don't know how good that is on the camera but i'll try my best the next thing here we have is a uh, planet 9.gg it is a uh, i would say maybe it's a club or something to do with gamers so you can visit them and join them I guess so you could play it says wanna win join them at planet9.gg so I guess you could play game or tournaments there and probably win and this is the Acer quick start guide at the back so it tells you I guess everything you need to know about the computer but I won't be going into this we also have a Acer Predator Helios 300 setup guide that tells you how to set up your computer, connect the power adapter, how to turn on the computer, all the basic that you need to get started. So that's it for now. So the best part of it is this box right here. Let's see. And that box is the predator box. So this is pretty nice. I would say premium from Acer. I think their first predator series came like this, which is the 2017 version. That red and black model. Right. So looking pretty nice and the good thing about this you could always put your laptop in it and take it for traveling or find the storage. So I'm just gonna get the laptop out. You have a tab here you use to just lift up your laptop which is nice. I'm gonna put the box back together and I'm gonna remove the laptop from this. It's like a microfiber towel. You can probably use it to clean your computer. So this model is a black and blue. You might see some fingerprint there because I already opened it. And what I've noticed is that if you touch it, you'll see the fingerprints there, but as soon as you remove it, they disappear. The only way you'll have fingerprint mark like right here on this laptop is if you're on that grease, you'll get it. 
But other than that, you won't have any. So that's it up for the laptop. At the back, we have two vents here. I think one is for the CPU, one is for the GPU. And we have the power in the center there at the back. So underneath the laptop here, we have some vents, as you can see. So again, one for the GPU, one for the CPU. And I think this bottom is one piece altogether. So with this laptop, you could add another NVMe drive and a 2.5 SATA. I forgot to mention that in the power box here, we have two packages. First one here is with four screws. And with these four screws, you could use it to upgrade your 2.5 drive. Okay, so the second one is the 2.5 hard drive cable. So you can upgrade the drive in this laptop. I'll be also doing a video on how to disassemble the laptop to upgrade those two drives. So make sure you check out that video and how to do it. So let's get back to the laptop. Okay, so on the right side of the laptop here, we have, first thing we have is a USB Type-C port. Then second, we have a USB 3.2 port. And then we have a HDMI port along beside that. We have a mini display port. And then we have vents on the side here. Over on the left side of the laptop here, we have a Kensington lock port so you could lock it to a DEX or whatever also we have the vent and then we have our internet port then we have two USB 3.2 port and they are Gen 2 then we have our microphone and earphone combo jack so that's one jack all right, so I'm gonna open this laptop. This one here is the 15.6 inch screen, and it's the 1444 hertz display. It carries, I guess, three meter per second panel, it's full HD. So I guess there shouldn't be any latency in your display. We have a little cloud right here in between I'm going to remove that and take a look on the keyboard so if you look on this predator in this stranger we notice that it comes with the fourth gen so on the keyboard here over on the left side we can see we have the double a S D keys which is highlighted and you know that would be for your gamers to go forward backward left right and up top here we have the turbo key over on the right side here we have the predator key so that would give you the predator utilities then we have the arrow key which is highlighted again and the upper right corner we have the power button so if you look on this predator in the stranger we notice that it comes with the fourth gen aero blade which is a 3d technology for the wi-fi and the network port we have the killer double shot pro and again it mentioned that you could upgrade the solid state drive so you could use two ssd and one 2.5 drive so give you more storage there we have the AsusSense utility app we have our immersive gaming audio and then we have the hdmi port okay guys so i'm gonna jump through the specification of this laptop and this laptop comes with Windows 10 Home Operating System. It carries an Intel Core i7, which is the i7 10750H. That's the 10th gen for this CPU. And that 10th gen processor is a hecta core, which is a 6 core. And each core carries thread, so you're looking at 12 there. The display and graphics is the NVIDIA GeForce. RTX 
3060 series and that's a 6 gigabyte of GDDR6 memory you have for the video card and the GPU boosts up to 1425 MHz the GPU power goes up to 105 watt again the size of the screen is 15.6 the screen resolution is also 1920 by 1080 with a refreshing rate of 144 Hertz the memory inside this computer is a 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM the speed of the memory is 2933 megahertz the wireless on this device is the 80211 and it support A, B, G, N, A, C, A, X the internet technology is the gigabyte and the bluetooth is bluetooth 5.0 also to mention that the solid state drive in this laptop is a 512 gigabyte and that's a NVMe drive this computer doesn't carry an optical drive nor a memory card reader the battery and this laptop is a 4 cell battery and the maximum runtime as I said is 6 hours I guess by surfing in it or doing light work the actual weight of this computer is approximately 5.5 pounds okay guys so I'm just gonna pour on the laptop so you could see that first impression of the power on so I'm just gonna push the button right there and then the keys will light up as you can see and you get that predator animation sound so it comes with the standard default light blue for the keys so as you can see I've power on the machine and that's the default setup already turn it on and install a few apps before I did this video so I'm just gonna jump into the Acer Sense utility I'm just gonna push the key for reference so if I push the key it will automatically launch an app so as you can see guys there's the app and inside the predator sense you have the home we have lighting in which you could change the keyboard it carries four zone so you have zone one so you could actually click there change the color to red and if I should look on the keyboard the light is off now but if I push a key you'll see so as you can see right there that's red and if I should go back again and change zone 2 to green you'll see it there on the keyboard so that is pretty nice there by Acer to do that so if we proceed from there we have overclocking and we have normal we have fast we have extreme and that's for the GPU at the moment we cannot overclock anything other than normal because it is not connected to the power adapter so in order to do that it gives you a message there it has to be plugged in and at least the battery life is at 40 percent then we have the fan control i'm gonna go ahead and max the fans so you could hear the sound so as you can hear there that's the max fan and i'm gonna go to custom and in custom the gpu is on the right i'm not sure if that's it, the case but i'm going to turn down the cpu and i'm going to max the gpu and see okay so the gpu is actually on the right side of the laptop which is over there and then the cpu fan is on the left side so currently now GPU fan is the one maxed out and to me the GPU seems to go at a higher RPM than the CPU so as you can see the CPU probably maxed out at around 47 61 RPM and the GPU is at 6122 so I'm just gonna jump back to auto 
and it will keep them under control based on what you're doing so if you're using a demanding application then the fan will ramp up we also have a cool boost right here which you could turn on below that we have monitoring and you could actually monitor your temperature of the CPU also the GPU and if we go to system uh, I think it gives you an overall temperature so if we go to game sync I think it will add a list of game here I haven't had any games on this laptop as yet but you will see all the games here and I guess you probably can modify said it says up top here you could add and modify setting for a specific game and then game sync will switch settings automatic if we go below that we have the app center that gives you a bunch of apps you have app management you could use it to uninstall apps from what I can see so it's similar to the the uninstaller the Windows uninstaller so all the apps will show here and it shows the install date so that's pretty nice there by Acer also what I've noticed up top here let me go home right up top so this one is the planet 9 so you could join them for tournaments and the second one beside that is I think this one is the boot up logo customization so you could actually customize your boot screen normally where you see this Acer Predator logo you could customize it and it gives you the dimension which needs to be 760 times 432 beside that we have the true Acer true harmony and then beside that we would have the settings and the settings here is basically you could turn off that animation and sound you could change the temperature units from celsius to fahrenheit you could turn off 30 second of the keyboard light so i just turn that off and if you notice on the key they are on constant so the keyboard will always have that light so i'm going to turn it off again and it's i just turn it on sorry so now that I turn it on, after 30 seconds, the keyboard light will go out. So if you don't want your lights to stay on, I think you can probably save a little battery on that. But I doubt the lighting takes a lot of battery. But if you press the key, then it will continue to light up. Then we have sticky keys. You could turn that on. Windows and menu key, you could turn that on. Also, the computer has a webcam up top. And I think the microphone is next to it. The touchpad is an all-in-one. It doesn't carry a dedicated button, but the buttons are at the bottom, right there. So you have the left click and the right click. You could also do two finger to scroll if you're on the browser. If you need to purchase this laptop, I'll be putting the link below in this video. So you could check the description below for the link. Paid $13.49 for it so you could click the link there to purchase it and if you have any question you could comment below remember to like it share it and if you haven't subscribed please do thanks for watching guys and before i go i'll be doing some game tests like warzone to see the frames per second so make sure you stay tuned for that and check it out in my upcoming video and also i'll be adding another NVMe and a SATA drive to the laptop. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.